The Boner of the Day is brought to you in part by uh, uh, pork and cabbage, uh, better than takeout, pork and cabbage udon noodles. Mm -hmm. You have been working through that pork all week. (laughs) What? Is the same pork? No. What? (laughs) He had a bunch of pork. Like every day, it's pork something what? else. I, I what, am I standing accused <laughs> no, of something just, here? This must am have I, been a big am tenderloin I, you had. Am I? You're let's working. not talk about the size of my tenderloin. <laughs> <laughs> am I? Just, what am I? Am I? Am I being charged with a crime? <laughs> no. It sounds like it. You're accusing me of something. Been through that pork by now. I, the man likes his pork. <laughs> Who are you to judge these things? It's what am I? Observation. I'm on. I'm on the pork hot seat all of a sudden. <laughs> Good lord! And is this sponsored? Winemaker Jenny Wagner, born into two long-standing wine families in Napa Valley, where she inherited a love of farming and eagerness to get her hands dirty and a willingness to push boundaries, featuring her Amolo Merlot, which is a rich, round, earthy, expressive wine with soft tannins and a wine that will complement anyone's dinner table this holiday season. Get a bottle of Amolo Merlot today. <laughs> Well, he's here now. He's the impresario. He's the chief cook and bottle washer <laughs> at the Wine Academy of Utah, Jimmy Santangelo. WineAcademyofUtah.com is where you'll find all of that stuff, Jimmy. Uh, he, all of his events, uh, how to become a sommelier. All kinds uh, of fun yeah, stuff. All, all different different variety of things. And I was just uh, sampling this uh, this wine, and I, I thought I was getting a note of pork. <laughs> <laughs> go good with that dish, the cabbage yeah. dish. Yeah, it would. The Actually, noodle would. and uh, the pork braised. Um, uh, hi, everybody. We are celebrating Jenny mm. Wagner's wine. She's part of the Wagner family, famed uh, Camus Cabernet Sauvignon. We featured their wines mm. in the past before. This is her collection. This is her. She is not afraid to get her hands dirty. Mm. She she was born into w- both winemaking families. Uh, she's naming this portfolio, this uh, brand, Amolo, after her grandmother's uh, maiden name. And uh, this is their Sauvignon Blanc. And then we're also going to feature the Merlot. Uh, the Sauvignon Blanc. You know, Sauvignon Blanc can be made all over the world. Uh, New Zealand Sauvignon Blancs, that big bell pepper, dried grass, hay, uh, lime, grapefruit, or the finer uh, Puy Fumés and Sancerres of the Loire. And Sav Blancs from California, sometimes we'll touch them in a little oak to soften the acidity. This is more leaning into that French style. The minerality comes through. Rather than just screaming acid on the side of the tongue, you go a bit of dryness on your tongue on the top, Mm -hmm. and that little bit of dryness reflects... uh, minerality in uh, the uh, coming up from the soil Mm -hmm. Um, and when you can have when you can taste a sense of minerals Mm -hmm. in your wine uh, that's a it's telling you a little the French call that terroir the French call that terroir Mm -hmm. and not every wine has terroir that's at the hand of the winemaker in the region when everything comes together this is a nice slightly tart slightly tart that's the acidity coming through on the Mm -hmm. side of the palate this next, uh, and um, as Bill's dish, as he mentioned, you have uh, the pork, and the, this is going to cut through. You know, as the winter comes, uh, your high acid whites, you want them to, you want them to uh, fatten up a little bit. You want the acid to come down. Uh, you don't want your refreshing backyard patio Sav Blancs and Pinot Grigios and mm-hmm. Albarinos. As delicious as those wines are, we got to drink seasonally, right? We got to mm-hmm. drink seasonally. Now, this Sauvignon Blanc, this you're right. This would have been great with the uh, pork and udon and cabbage. Yes. Now, the pork the, in that was ground ground pork. Oh, nice. That's, yeah. You know, so you mix it. You, you brown so it's the, the fattiness the of the yeah. pork, mm-hmm. uh, that protein, that yeah. saltiness uh, is going to cancel out the acidity in that Sav Blanc, uh, making for that fruitiness to come through and uh, still a little bit of underlying acidity to uh, cut through the starchiness uh, the, of the The other of the pork dish. that I had earlier in the week was <laughs> pork, pork, tender, pork tenderloin. <laughs> ah. And, ah. Uh, I, I, well, I understand I, it's a very small pork tenderloin. I don't want to say <laughs> how that works. That's, that's why we get two. <laughs> 
Uh, <laughs> Double it up. Yeah. Uh, this, I'm, I'm guessing this is going to be good with the tenderloin. This. So now what we're doing is in the season is we're st- we're not grilling outside as much, but we're opening things up from the oven. We're roasting, mm-hmm. we're baking, and our wines need to become richer, mm-hmm. fuller bodied. And this is a Merlot, and this is right out of Napa Valley. And this uh, Merlot, the Omolo Merlot, is a premium wine. Uh, long hang time, meaning they keep the grapes on the vine for an extended period where other people are like, yeah, we're going to harvest. We're going we're gonna to pull mm-hmm. grapes, uh, get them into the wine. These guys, their style is to keep them on the vine a little bit longer, to absorb more of that rich sunshine. We're not afraid to have wine with a little bit higher brick level, and that's that sugar level in the grape. And when they bring them into the winery, little longer soak time, cold soaking, extracting all that beautiful color uh, from the grapes, uh, from that's the skins of the grape. That's a really unique uh, yeah, it's nose. really interesting. Yeah, it's not, I haven't even tasted it yet. A lot of blueberry, plum, uh, a lot of blue fruits on this. That's Those really that take good. my wine classes will know we break it down into red fruit, blue mm-hmm. fruit, and black fruit. This has got that black and blue fruit. A little bit of a very ripe, maybe even a little bit of prune in there. Um, and oh, these yeah. are not like sweet mm. things I'm mm-hmm. saying, no, but not at ripe all. things, you mm. know, things that have been sitting on a countertop for a minute, things that are very mm. ripe, uh, aromatically. Uh, I haven't even put it to the palate. Let me see. I haven't looked. Oh, good. I haven't looked, but I'm guessing this is not an mm. inexpensive bottle of wine. Interestingly, we're the least expensive in the country. Mm. The brokers were oh, tired. Look at that. To yeah. keep that into our community, this wine is normally fifty four ninety nine. We're now going to stabilize it at forty four ninety five. Okay. Forty five dollar, beautiful bottle of wine. This is going to pair with any dish that you're preparing over the holiday season. Uh, it's a great gift wine, in my opinion. Thanksgiving turkey. Thanksgiving turkey. It might be a little bit bold for that, but don't mm-hmm. no fret because the Wagner family has a Pinot Noir for you ah, <laughs> to fit in there. And I would um, I would say this time of year you should splurge a little bit on I think your so. holiday meals. Sure. So. It's good around the weekends mm. um, if you're you're grilling or having something, as mentioned, out of the oven. Uh, but uh, this is a great wine that for, you know, my target wine expenditure is different from others. Yeah. I meet a lot of people who they're, they're more of that premium market. The, mm-hmm. And this is going to be a deal mm-hmm. for them. And yeah. it is. It's at $45 in November uh, onward competes with... You know, I don't I like name drop, but it's going to blow away like Duckhorn Merlot. As delicious as Duckhorn is and as famous as they are for Merlot, these guys are hot on their heels. I think mm-hmm. I like this one better than Duckhorn. Mm-hmm. Kind of, uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't want to say. Know, I, but, yeah, I got to be good. neutral. But, yeah, yeah it's, it's very good. I mean, uh, a standing rib delicious. roast. Standing rib roast. St- a standing Cr- rib roast. Yeah. yeah. Or a crown pork crown roast. So, oh. Yeah, pork. That's what I said, Gina. Pork. Pork. I, pork. I didn't say anything. Pork. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, good this, stuff. This is good stuff. So this is, uh, what's the name again? Mm. It's El- Emolo. Emolo. Uh, Jenny Wagner, Emolo's, uh, Sab Blanc, and Merlot. Delicious. Compliment. Uh, the, you just need these two bottles for uh, a meal, one to start and one with the main, and you're good to go. Oh, Delicious. Man. All right.